possible, whatever's going on with my nerves and how it's been doing this for so long, create, is it possible it could be creating damage to my muscles or other parts of my body inside? And if so, is this something that the injections can help if in fact we, you determine it's the nerve related? So most of the time for the, if we have simple neurogenic inflammation, which means that we don't have, this is not from an extreme injury, or this is not because of a, a nerve ablation procedure or anything like that, we generally don't see any other issues arise in muscles in the area. If somebody had a radio frequency ablation, so they go in and they kill those nerves for pain, the clunial nerves not a big issue because those are not motor nerves they don't control any muscles but in other areas of the body someone might see issues if nerves were severely traumatized or they had been burned through a procedure or things like that but for the clunial nerves generally no they're only sensory nerves so they don't provide any motor innervation and so we generally do not see any changes in muscle function or anything like that oh okay but it is Potentially, and, and that could be, so again, uh, that could be because of something else other than the clunial nerves. But also our brain will sometimes shut muscles down to protect us from the pain. That's something that can yeah, happen. That's what feel, yeah. Yeah, so generally when the pain gets better or goes away, that inhibition from the brain goes away as well.